JJ, hi. I have a very serious request for you. I need your help checking out the old house at the edge of our village. The old house at the edge of our village that was still completely destroyed? Yes, apparently someone has decided to settle there and I need to find out who it is and why they did it. Cool, I want to find out as soon as possible too. Maybe there's something interesting there or some interesting character. But before you do, friends, don't forget to like and subscribe to us. Your support motivates us to keep showing interesting adventures and different situations. Mikey is very happy with all the support. It will really help us to check out the scary and frightening ruined house more safely. Please help us in that difficult task. Mikey, let's go as fast as we can then. I'm getting impatient to find out for myself who's hiding there and for what purpose. Just promise me that we'll be careful, okay? There's no problem with that, JJ. If something happens there, we'll be sure to solve it together. Like real friends. Here, look. That's the exact same ruined house someone settled in. I heard strange noises. Strange noises? Like someone growling or barking. I don't know. I'm very bad at understanding sounds like that. I like the idea of checking this house less and less, so why not, Mikey? Let someone live there, what do we care? We have to do it, in case there's a wolf that needs our help. If it's a monster, we'll be sure to destroy it. Do not even doubt it. Whoa, look! There's blood everywhere and there really is some monster in a cage. Stay away from him! Ouch! He bit me! Why did you do that? Mikey, let's go faster from this place. This is all very, very strange at all. It's some kind of monster. It bit my hand, I'm getting sicker by the second. Do I have to stop it somehow? Are you sure you're feeling okay? Is there anything I can do to help you? Wow! You've turned into a real monster, Mikey. Stay away from me and don't you dare bite me. Friends, Mikey has turned into some kind of scary monster. He's running after me and he wants to infect me with something so disgusting. You can't let him bite you. You just can't do it. But that way he can attack the village. I need to lock him in some kind of house so he won't hurt anyone. Come on, get over here. You can't bite me. Ha ha ha. I managed to trick Mikey. Now I'm going to put obsidian and bars over the doors and windows so the monster can't get out. That's the best decision I've made in a while. I've saved 100% of the residents from being bitten. Now I have to figure out how to save Mikey. Maybe I should talk to the person who bit him. Phew, that's a bad idea. I need to go to a real specialist, namely our doctor in the village. She knows exactly what might be wrong with Mikey and how to treat it. This will be very important information for me and his salvation. Of course, the treatment will be expensive, but I'll make as much as I need for the antidote. I don't want to lose my friend over this situation. I really hope the doctor can help him and we can get him back to his old self. This is very important. I'm willing to pay literally any money if the doctor can still help me treat him. Here's her house. She's almost always there, so it won't be a problem to find her and have her help me too. Doctor! I need your help. Yes, JJ. What's wrong? Mikey was bitten by someone in an old and abandoned house. He turned into some kind of monster and I need a cure as soon as possible. A monster? Are you sure you're not confused about anything? That's the first time I've heard of something like that. I need to check him out. I locked him away from other people. He was coming to bite me, so I decided to save the village from such a fate. That might be clever, JJ, but then how can I help him if he can't get out? I don't understand you. I thought you had some kind of antidote for this disease, nothing at all. Hmm. Come to think of it, I do have one experimental remedy that in theory could help, but it would cost a lot of diamonds. A whole stack of diamonds, but I'm not even sure if it can help him or not, so it's up to you to decide whether or not to buy it. Of course I'll buy the cure! If there's even one chance that I can save him, then it should be used 100%. These are the coordinates of the mine where you can get the diamonds, you can have them for yourself. Thanks a lot doc, I'll be coming soon with the diamonds. Well friends, our adventure continues. We're going to the mine to mine diamonds for Mikey's cure. I'm willing to give my whole self to the job if it will save my best friend. I have only one, and there are a lot of diamonds around. Okay, it's somewhere around here, very, very close. 
Only I need to get down somehow. I hope there's water down there. Yahoo, the best landing! Now onto the search for diamonds immediately! Wow, look! It's a whole ladder of diamonds! It should be enough to buy medicine from the dock! We have to collect them all right away, so we have to climb to the top of the ladder, which is more comfortable. Let's hope it's full of diamonds! Hmm. What kind of strange passage is this anyway? Where does it go anyway? You know, friends, this looks like some kind of cool challenge that will give me endless riches at the end. I think you can risk it all and save Mikey and become very rich. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You have to be careful here. They're sharp enough that you could easily get hurt here or stay here altogether. You have to gather your thoughts, concentrate, and go to your goal without paying attention to anything or anyone. I can't figure out to the end why he bit Mikey and wanted him to be his monster. Or is it like some kind of virus in general? But why am I healthy and he's not? It's all very strange, don't you think? I want to get a lot of diamonds, buy an antidote from the doctor, bring Mikey back, and destroy that monster. Goo! I almost passed the first challenge, which means I'm a very, very skilled adventurer. I could go through all these caves easily. Too bad my life is a little different, but still, I like walking through traps like that and not getting into something that threatens me. You have to be very careful with that rainbow lava. I think it's very hot, which I just can't even escape from. I need to get through this as quickly as possible. I'm getting tired really fast. I'm getting more and more tired with each new jump. I need a break. Who will arrange it for me? What? Really no one? Oh, what a pity. Here comes a new trap, new spikes under the electricity. They hit much harder, so you have to restrain yourself and your body. Who comes up with these traps anyway? Hmm. If it were me, I'd come up with something more original, wouldn't you friends? Let's hope there really is a special prize waiting for us at the end, which will give me my moral pleasure. There's not much left. I hope this is the last challenge for today. And that's a straight track already, how cool is that? Oh no! There's a fire in here! When will it ever end? I really want to drink some milk, eat some delicious cookies, and go to bed! Why don't they let me do all this normally? What's the big deal? I'll run through this fire. Why should I waste my time? Friends, look, apparently now they're going to test my archery on these targets. If I hit them all, they'll probably let me into the last room. Pum pum pum. Do you see how I shoot? Not one miss, and all on targets. I definitely need to get one of these at home and practice more. That's kind of it. I'll shoot some more, so to speak, for practice, I really hope we get some help with that. Apparently my hits still count towards my ticket to the next room, I hope it's the last one? Let's put the bow down and see what we could discover that's hiding in this cave. Whoa! Another challenge, but this time more dangerous and serious. What am I supposed to do? I guess I have no other choice, I've always loved such jumps, but not over lava. We have to jump faster, Mikey won't wait, and I don't want to lose such a friend because of my mistakes. If I can't help him, I'll only have myself to blame, so I need to try hard. There's only a few jumps left, I need to speed up well and then I can go a lot faster. If I don't get distracted. You who friends, I was able to pass another big challenge, I need to finally go and get my prize. That should definitely be enough for me to help Mikey. This is my only chance really. JJ, did you still bring the diamonds? Here's your potion, I hope it can help Mikey. Thanks, Doc. I hope I can count on you, right? Sure, go save Mikey as fast as you can. USD be careful, this potion might work somehow differently, you have to be prepared for anything. I told you, it's experimental. Thank you very much, I have no other choice, I need to help my best friend as much as possible so he doesn't suffer in vain. Friends, I really hope that with this potion I can really help him. Everything now depends on me and how I was able to help him. I need to break this obsidian immediately, let it out or just throw the potion, in case it can help so much at once. Mikey, friend! I'm coming to you. I'm going to save you now and I brought you a potion. Wait a little longer, be patient. The doctor helped us and I hope it's true that it can work. If things don't go according to plan, I'll hit you and I can find some other way out of this situation, just trust me. Why did I put that obsidian in the first place? It takes so long to break, I'm really getting tired of every extra move. If we save Mikey, we'll go straight to resting and partying till morning. Like real tough guys. 
a little more. Just a little bit more. Wait for Mikey. Yahoo. Hey, buddy. Don't run after me. I want to help you. Don't try to bite me. Let me throw it at you. Take that. Who, JJ? You really were able to help me with this disease. Thank you so much.